describe my sound as you know big it's called big room uh, it's also energetic uh, it's made for the, the big festivals i made my kicks bigger than the rest for example it was distorted it was almost like a hard style kick but then in a house form music has to be straightforward and it doesn't need to be like complicated you know i try to keep my projects really minimal in order to keep the impact really high i met quintino in uh, in 2011 in uh, miami that was my first time in miami and we were talking about doing a collab he gave me the breakdown for epic i uh, made it in two days the whole song and the whole structure and everything sent it to Tai to tiesto and then he uh, he loved it immediately he, he said i'd listen to it nine times and it got better better and better because it was so new at that time and uh, yeah from there it made uh, history I have uh, a studio in my own house. I use that um, like on a daily basis. And there I use a Genelex with a, with a Genelex sub as well. For leads, uh, I tend to use Aspire a lot. Sometimes Omnisphere. I use a lot of samples. I use a lot of synth shots. I use the Invisible Limiter a lot. OTT on my leads. Fab filter plugins are the, one of the best, I think. I'm, I'm working very basic, to be honest. I'm not using a lot. You want to keep it simple for yourself. That's the key. For mixing, I think uh, what really helps is your room. Yeah, how, how is your room uh, treated acoustically? Um, what kind of monitors you use, that's also really important. You have to know your monitors in order to mix properly. When I'm producing, I fix my mixing and then I go on with the sound designing of my leads and yeah, so on and so on. I don't even, I don't master my songs. The songs that are coming out are like straight from the project. I never use headphones, I always use my, uh, my monitors and I have a sub, so I really know them quite well, so I can like hear everything. You will see that in my tutorial. Um, I only have a fab filter uh, that's cutting off uh, the frequencies that I don't need. You use a limiter and that's it. So we have a lot in there. We have the, the tutorial, the, the sample pack, the presets, the MIDI bank, and we have the project file, of course. I've put in a lot of kicks that I used uh, and that I've used in my older projects. Some effects, impact, uh, fills that I use a lot, presets for Aspire, uh, presets for Silent. And uh, yeah, you can see everything what I've done in the tutorial as well. So in the preset pack, we have sound banks for Aspire. We have a sound bank for Silent. A lot of those sounds are really usable for your projects because they're good to go and they're easy to uh, to incorporate. For Spire, I've I've done a lot of uh, leads that you can use in the drop. I've also made in the tutorial uh, an example how I use that. We have some plugs in there that you can use in your breakdowns. I think that will help a lot of people because sometimes it's hard to like fill your breakdowns. I think so. There's so much going on in there, and uh, yeah, I think it's uh, easy to use. For the sample pack, I've included a lot of personal samples, personal kick drums, fills that I use a lot in my song, really nice percussion sounds, some snares, effects, sounds that I collected for almost, I think, 10 years now. With the tutorial today, I gave people insight in, in how I work, uh, in my workflow, and the only samples I used was in the Sandra Silva sample pack. Project file is is a, is almost like a, a complete track. Um, you can see the the breakdowns, uh, the drops, um, yeah, the the automations, how I use my automations, um, how I draw it in, um, how I make transitions. I mean, you can see how I make a track from scratch, basically, and what my workflow is. My advice to younger guys or girls is really uh, straightforward, but I always say the same thing. Create your own style, keep your identity, and uh, yeah, do what you love to do. Uh, don't force things. Staying motivated is tough also for guys like me. I think uh, sometimes you just need to get out of the studio and do something else. 
and then come back two three days later and then you create two three yeah three new tracks it can happen so yeah sometimes you need to take the rest and give your ears the rest as well i think it's really important to stand out with your songs so in order to to do that you have to like really focus on designing your own sound it costs the most time i think but it will bring your career definitely to the next level.